This father was brilliant, his daughter was harm, he only relied on a laptop to find the culprit behind the crime. David was a single dad. After his wife died, he raised his daughter who was still in high school. That day, Margot told her father, the final exam was coming. She had to sleep overnight at a friend's house to study. Then, without waiting for David to ask which friend's house, she just hung up the call. David soon got used to his daughter's wayward personality. After telling his daughter to take care, he just went to bed. David's phone suddenly rang. Margot was calling him. It seemed that there was something urgent, but the sleeping David was completely unaware. At 7am the next morning, David called Margot, but no one answered. He thought his daughter was in class and she couldn't answer the phone. So he left a message, telling her to reply right away when she read his message. But until 3pm, Margot still didn't reply to him. In this abnormal situation, David was very worried. Then he suddenly remembered that it was Friday. Every Friday, Margot had to take her piano class. So David called the piano teacher. However, the teacher said that Margot had already cancelled her piano class six months ago. David was very shocked. His daughter not only didn't tell him anything about this, but also took $100 he gave her every week for the piano class's fees. David called Margot's best friend from childhood, Isaac, to ask if he knew anything. Isaac's mom answered the phone. She told David that Isaac and Margot went camping, so her phone might have no signal. They would come back tomorrow morning. After hanging up the phone, David could finally let out a sigh of relief. However, the next day, Isaac called him back. He said they originally had a camping date. But in the afternoon yesterday, when they were about to go, Margot said she couldn't go. So he also didn't know where she had gone. At that time, David felt like collapsed. He could only report to the police. The one who picked up his call was Detective Rosemary. She hoped he could give them more information about his missing daughter. It might help them find his daughter quicker. But David didn't really know his daughter so well. At that time, he saw his daughter's computer at home. After he logged into her Facebook account, he found the classmate whom Margot told him to study overnight with. But the girl said that night, she did invite Margot over to study overnight, but Margot left early. She got off of her house at 9pm just when David doubted what Margot's classmate said, Rosemary sent him the video of Margot's last trace. In the video, Margot left at 9.40 on Thursday night. After coming out of her classmate's house, she stopped by to fill the car's fuel. Then she turned and headed for Highway 152. The classmate was out of the suspect list. But Highway 152 was the road to the outside of the city. Why did his daughter go out of the city at night? So David also logged into another social media account of his daughter. He discovered that under her ever post, there was an account named Derek Ellis always leaving a comment. The content of the comment was very obscene. When he clicked on the account, he discovered that this was such an uneducated man. Margot's disappearance was undoubtedly related to him. David suspected that his daughter was harmed by this man. Through online software, he searched for this man's number. After that, he immediately called him on the phone. Ellis just told him that he had a fishing date that day, there was nothing else added to it. It also deepened the suspicion David had in him. But eventually, it was confirmed that on Thursday evening, he went to one of Bieber's concerts. The investigation had no progress. At that time, Rosemary called him on the phone, telling him there was an important clue. It was Margot's fake ID. Rosemary said she discovered that not long ago, Margot faked an ID. Before missing, she used the fake ID to withdraw $2.500. Rosemary suspected that Margot got involved in an illegal business and fled with the money she withdrew. David firmly denied Rosemary's theory. On Thursday evening, Margot had called him three times. How could she leave just like that? David angrily hung up the phone. He decided to investigate on his own. At that time, he noticed the search history. He sorted it by date. He discovered that she usually visited a website called Ucast Now. Moreover, she usually live streamed on the website. David looked at one of her lives. He discovered that there was an account named fish underscore n underscore chips, usually leaving comments. Moreover, she and Margot had been in the same situation. Her mother was also hospitalized because of cancer. Because her family's finance was in decline, she had no way but to drop out and earn money to pay for her mother's treatment. How could it be such a coincidence? David suspected that this girl made up her background to approach Margot. He quickly sent this information to Rosemary. Rosemary told David that she had invested everyone that communicated with Margot on that website, including fish underscore n underscore chips. She even found out the address of the restaurant where she worked. But the restaurant's data proved that on Thursday evening, she was working the whole shift there, never leaving for once. The investigation once more hit the dead end. David was disappointed. When he was about to log out of Margot's account, a live stream in the right corner attracted his attention. He seemed to see this lake somewhere. He logged into another social media account. Turned out, it was a lake called Barboza. Through the maps, he discovered that this lake was very near to Highway 152, only 5 minute driving. Getting there, David finally knew why his daughter drove to Highway 152. It turned out that his daughter had always thought of his wife's death. Whenever she missed her mother, she usually drove to the lake to relax. This time, she didn't come back. 
Perhaps, it was because she was murdered there. David immediately drove to Barbosa Lake. As a result, he found Margot's keychain by the lake. David immediately reported to the police, telling them to hurry up. At the same time, the reporters also paid attention to the case, hurrying to the scene to interview. The rescue team only found the car Margot had driven that night. There was no one found in the car. The investigation hit a dead end. The rescue team started to search all over the surroundings for Margot's body. At the same time, Margot's missing case was also published on the news. Not long after that, David received a call from Rosemary. There was a suspect, who published a self-recorded video before committing suicide. He admitted that he had killed Margot. After that, the police also announced that they found the suspect's ADN in Margot's car. After learning the truth, David was heartbroken. He randomly clicked on an email with the title, Memorial One, to carry out the aftermath of her death. This organization wanted David to publish a video of Margot before she passed away, so they could use it when the funeral took place. David was hesitant but he still uploaded a video of her. Just when David clicked on, upload, the website replied to him with a picture and a note that said, thank you for uploading. David felt that the person in the picture was very familiar. He seemed to meet her somewhere. He logged into his daughter's account again, discovering that this person was the owner of the account called, fish underscore n underscore chips. David searched for her online. It turned out that she was a model. Didn't Rosemary say she worked in a restaurant? Then David looked up her number online. As a result, it was surprising that she didn't know any websites called Bucast now. She was puzzled. She didn't know anything David told her. There hadn't been any police officer who found her for the case. It was obvious that Rosemary was lying to him. David found out that he could contact Rosemary. So he immediately called the police. As a result, he was informed that Rosemary was not assigned by the superior to invest the case but she asked for it. David found there was something wrong with this woman. He immediately searched online for Rosemary's information. As a result, in a picture, which was published on a piece of news, David saw the suspect that had admitted his crime before. It turned out that it was all set by Rosemary. The police immediately arrested Rosemary. In the police station, Rosemary didn't cover anything, admitting her crime. It turned out that the murderer was her son. He had been in love with Margot since childhood. On an occasion, he accidentally found Margot's social media account. Then he took a username as fish underscore n underscore chips, then found a profile picture on the internet, using his fake identity to talk with Margot. To approach Margot, he made up the story about his mother's cancer and dropping out to earn money to pay for his mother's treatment. Rosemary's son didn't expect that Margot had sent him $2.500. He decided to tell Margot the truth, giving her money back. Rosemary saw her son driving after Margot, but when they got off, they had a dispute. Rosemary's son had pushed Margot off a cliff. Knowing that he had committed a crime, he called Rosemary while crying. It was also because of Rosemary. Because she loved her son, she didn't want her son to be thrown in prison. Then she took advantage of her status, receiving Margot's missing case. Then she created numerous events after that. Eventually, she found someone to take responsibility. The case was closed, but when David asked her why she was so sure that Margot had died, Rosemary said even if Margot hadn't died right at that time, she had gone missing for five days. A person surviving after five days in the water was impossible. At that moment, David told the rescue team to turn around, coming to the cliff that Rosemary told him. It had been raining hard for two days. It meant that Margot had been in the water for two days. The rescue team finally found Margot unconscious under the cliff. After that, Margot finally moved on from her mother's death and also felt the love from her father. The movie ended here.